SpaceX Starlink on steroids. China's space-based nuclear weapons. Should you be worried? Let's go check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Misty Morning and Focus Combination. That zing of the peppermint and bergamot. I love bergamot. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technical military day. <laughs> I don't know guys, the world is getting crazy. It is absolutely getting crazy. I was reading an article, actually like, a bunch of articles about this arms race that's going on and china is kind of leading the entire world in this race for military arms that's going on and there's a few things that really we need to be worried about in my personal opinion one of these articles i was reading really broke things down i want to go through some of it with you but i want to hear your thoughts on it what do you think about this we know that china over the course of many decades have not really been innovators. They're more like iterators, right? They can take something, copy it, and then either make it identical or make it identical plus some, right? Make it a little bit better, put their spin on it. It's not that they really come up with a lot of new things on their own, but they copy what's already out there and just make it better. That's what they do. And they do it really well. Well, we hear that they are working currently on a Elon Musk SpaceX Starlink clone, let's call it, with about 13,500 satellites is what they want to launch that are going to be identical to SpaceX Starlink sitting in LEO, about 500 kilometers. Actually, I think theirs are gonna be a little bit lower, right around 300 plus kilometers off Earth. So are those satellites going to be identical to SpaceX Starlinks? Probably, I wouldn't doubt it and maybe plus some, as like I said before, maybe they'll have some other capacity that other satellites do not have. What my understanding is here is China's working on a space-based nuclear option, let's call it, a means of having tactical weapons, nukes on satellites that might be in low Earth orbit that can be launched towards Earth, anywhere on Earth, at a moment's notice. So, Let's get into this article and then I wanna hear your thoughts on it because it's a little bit disturbing, but it's always good to stay abreast of what's going on because it doesn't matter what country you live in, the narrative in that country will simply say, we are the best, we are the strongest, we are the superpower, no one could defeat us. You know, this is how it is. So you are lulled into this sense of security that really probably shouldn't be there. My personal opinion, once again, to stay in the know is actually a very good thing in comparison to being lulled into oblivion by listening to mainstream media all day long. So anyways, this article starts out by saying, the US-China Economic and Security Review Commission recently released an annual report highlighting the escalating strategic and systemic competition between the United States and China. The 741-page report paints a stark picture of China's rapid military expansion and its ambitious plans to surpass American power. It emphasizes that managing this complex rivalry is a top national security priority for the foreseeable future. The report reveals that China is directing unprecedented resources into updating its military with a specific focus on advancements in missiles, space capabilities, undersea warfare, and artificial intelligence. This comprehensive effort indicates a significant shift in global power dynamics, raising concerns about the United States facing a formidable strategic competitor. One key aspect highlighted in the report is China's multifaceted approach to shaping global affairs in its favor. This includes military coercion, technology acquisition, and influence operations. The commission underscores the need for the United States to address this multifaceted challenge swiftly and comprehensively. 
The report also addresses the issue of resource extraction in space, noting that current international space law lacks a clear mechanism to adjudicate ownership of space-based resources. China intends to claim the right to use such resources in the absence of a clear legal framework regulating space mining. The report highlights China's opposition to the Artemis Accord, expressing concern that the U.S.-led initiative might outpace China's lunar program. A particularly alarming revelation is China's pursuit of a space-based nuclear weapon, potentially giving a new global strike capability that could threaten the U.S. homeland. The report notes China's leadership in missile and space technologies, suggesting tighter U.S. export control may not deter China's nuclear-focused advancements. The development of a Fractional Orbital Bombardment System, or an FOBS, by China raises concerns about the possibility of permanently deploying nuclear weapons in space, adding a fourth leg to its nuclear triad. China's nuclear triad is a three-pronged force that enables missiles launched from air, sea, and land. With China's ongoing focus on space-based nuclear weapons, its nuclear attack capabilities will expand to space as well. In response to these challenges, the Commission recommends several measures to Congress, including reforms in export control and a more stringent review of foreign investment in U.S. companies. The report concludes with a stark warning. If China overtakes the United States in key areas such as undersea warfare, space capabilities, artificial intelligence, and space-based nuclear weapon delivery, the global balance of power could undergo a dramatic dramatic and potentially irreversible shift. Addressing these concerns is crucial for maintaining strategic stability and safeguarding U.S. interests in an era of intensifying U.S.-China competition. And I, you know, this stuff really worries me because a lot of people are not talking about this. They just kind of are lulled into oblivion just listening to mainstream media. And uh, what we see today is just Whatever's going on over there in the Ukraine, what's going on in Israel, that's it. We don't see what has been going on with the military might of China for many years now. But as of late, China has really been moving forward when it comes to their military might. We know that they want to take Taiwan. In my personal opinion, they will. Sad to say, but I think they will. That all being said, they are really gathering they're nuts, let's say, for winter. And those nuts are missiles. And there is a lot of them. Their military might is just unbelievable at this point. I was doing research after reading this article and just looking at what the Chinese have in their military arsenal as of right now is just unbelievable. And then all of these new silos, which house nuclear missiles, are coming up all over the place. All right. It's not like a figment of our imagination. We can actually see it using Google. I mean, you can actually see these things come up. And I mean, I really think that it's something that people should really think about. But at any rate, I want to know your thoughts on this. We know that SpaceX Starlink is being copied right now as we speak by the Chinese. And 13,500 copies of SpaceX's satellites will be launched 2024, 2025. All right, so we will see that happen. Absolutely 100% guarantee you. Now, what are the capabilities of those satellites? Are they simply communication or are they not? Reading this and knowing that they are looking on putting some type of tactical weapons, nuclear weapons into space, permanently into space, is a little bit worrying. And the reason why, and some people don't understand this, normally when an ICBM or an intercontinental ballistic missile is launched from another country, it goes like up into the atmosphere, it takes this long arc, and it takes a while to get to the location, all right? There's a lot of time for us to launch countermeasures to blow up the ICBM in space or in the air, let's call it, hopefully in space. That said, when you launch these tactical missiles, these smaller missiles from LEO, right? 
there's very little opportunity. They're literally coming overhead. And when the satellite is overhead, it launches straight down. It doesn't take that long for it to hit Earth. So I want to know what we're going to be doing about it. I want to know if SpaceX is working on something in this regard already. I mean, if this 741 page review was put out, obviously they know what's going on, right? It's not like they're stupid. And all countries want to stay ahead of the game or ahead of everyone else. Because when you're a superpower, you have more control, right? And possibly as of today, China has already surpassed the United States and many other countries. I wouldn't doubt it. I really wouldn't doubt it. Once again, when you turn a blind eye to something and you just listen to what the normal narrative is out there, that everything is just peaches and cream, you don't follow what is actually going on. You just listen to what the rhetoric is, right? You just listen to that, you believe that, and you don't question anything. And that is the worst thing to do. And in my personal opinion, I think we should all question everything. When we stop questioning and become robots or zombies, then what's the purpose, right? Might as well just have robots. <laughs> we already have a lot of zombies doing all the prescription drugs that we see around us. I mean, you can't go to the mall. You can't go and drive around without looking at someone. And I swear to God, you look and they, they are zombies. They're on like prescription meds and they're not with us. They are not even here. They are just somewhere else. All right. And that's it's gone rampant. I don't know where you live, how it is, but there is a hell of a lot of zombies out there. A lot. Anyways, guys, I want to know your thoughts on this. What do you think? Do you think that Elon Musk and SpaceX can do something to mitigate this movement to a, let's say, an orbiting arsenal of nukes that China is working on? And if so, what could they do to mitigate that? Are they being commissioned by the government, by the DOD, the Department of Defense, and so on and so forth to somehow create mitigation to this? I don't know. I really don't know. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think it's worrisome? I know I do. Anyways, if you enjoy this content, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you are subscribed, click this little button over here so I go live when a new video comes out. You'll be notified of it immediately. And if you want to just give a dollar or two, say thank you. There's a little button down here. You can click on that. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink coverage, I put together a playlist. I'll put a link here of about 210, 220 videos just on Starlink. All helpful how to's, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy. And most importantly, the why behind it all. Also, if you're looking for a VPN, look no further. Go check out Pure VPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is JCristina. It will give you 15 additional percent off for using it. Or you can use the URL jcristina.com forward slash VPN. Once again, jcristina.com forward slash VPN. And finally, head over to my website, jcristina, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. Thank you for being here. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all.